This is Main Street Station. Thursday night. I've seen it dead on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but this is, this is pretty unique for Thursday. You're wondering why is it called Main Street Station? This property used to actually be an, a working train station. There was a, a depot right to the side of the building where they have the uh, train today, but it was a working train, I think all the way up to the 70, 1970s. It came up obsolete by then. Yeah, they, it looks like they've got all their table games are shut down. And usually they put a sign on them that says, if you want to play a table game, go next door to our sister property, California. I was just in the California, and it was uh, certainly not uh, busy busy, but it was not like this. It had some people. If this architecture reminds you of anything, it's got that New Orleans look. You might think of it as something you saw in New Orleans. That would be true because that's where the uh, original owner got the ideas. He also did the same thing in Pensacola, Florida, uh, Rosie O'Grady's Seville Quarter, Phineas Fogg's. And then he also built Church Street Station in Orlando, the same architecture, where they also have a Rosie O'Grady's and a Cheyenne Western Saloon. Very similar to this architecture. That was Bob Snow. He, op he opened this place in 1978. And then Boyd took it over, I think, in the early 90s. Bob owned it at the, just the very worst time when downtown was really doing horribly bad. Well, this buffet's not bad. I did a, a, a separate video on the buffet a while back. Yeah, if you need a drink, you're going to have to go next door and get it. Uh, we can look at the slot machines anyway. Look at the balcony up there. Just like the California, they mix in a lot of uh, vintage slot machines with the new technology. That 
restaurant's actually open. It's a fairly decent sized hotel. It's 406 rooms. It's a great place to sit. The location is really good. I don't understand how it could be this dead in the casino. On a non-crowd at night, I think they push all their employees over to uh, California instead of keeping half of them here or a third of them here. And it makes people, I guess, naturally walk over to the California, which you can, it's all under roof. You don't have to get out in the heat. Yeah, the signs say go visit California.